Fables of Aesop. Fable 15. The Kite and the Pigeons. A kite, who had kept sailing in the air for many days near a dove house, and made a swoop at several pigeons, but all to no purpose, for they were too nimble for him, at last had recourse to stratagem, and took his opportunity one day to make, a declaration to them, in which he set forth his own just and good intentions, who had nothing more at heart than the defense and protection of the pigeons in their ancient rights and liberties, and how concerned he was at their fears and jealousies of a foreign invasion, especially their unjust and unreasonable suspicions of himself, as if he intended by force of arms to break in upon their constitution, and erect a tyrannical government over them. To prevent all which, and thoroughly to quiet their minds, he thought proper to propose to them such terms of alliance and articles of peace as might forever cement a good understanding betwixt them, the principle of which was, that they should accept him for their king, and invest him with all kingly privilege and prerogative over them. The poor, simple pigeons consented. The kite took the coronation oath, after a very solemn manner, on his part, and the doves, the oaths of allegiance and fidelity, on theirs. But much time had not passed over their heads, before the kite pretended that it was part of his prerogative to devour a pigeon whenever he pleased. And this he was not contented to do himself only, but instructed the rest of the royal family in the same kingly arts of government. The pigeons, reduced to this miserable condition, said one to deceived. Sudden trust brings sudden repentance. Whoever trusteth ere he know, doth hurt himself and please his foe.